Hey guys, Nick Drusos. I'm here with Helen Stranzel, the Austrian beast. We made some videos and a lot of you asked to see her back. So we're going to be doing some, some self-defense videos with her. Um, and the first thing we're going to talk about is this self-defense keychain that was sent to me by a company. They asked me to do a review. Just to say first, I have no affiliation or, uh, you know, my commitment is to my viewers. So if you have products that you want to send me for review, send them in. But I will always make an honest review of what I think. So here's one of these little keychains that was sent to me. Uh, this is $9.99. And the idea is that if you're attacked, you do this. Now, let me just talk about the keychain. The first thing is there's a little light, which is pretty cool, right? So if you're going to your car, you're in a dark alley, you press the light and you know, you could see where you're walking. So that's pretty cool. And then the idea yeah. that is, so yeah. You can even alert the other guys, the attackers, how close or far you are from their distance. Yeah, because <laughs> little... you're gonna be walking in the alley. <laughs> like I'm, I'm five feet away from you, and now I'm three feet away. So that that little light will do that. And yeah. then the second thing is, if you know the guy's attacking you. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> so here's the the good, the, the pros and the cons. Like in anything, it's just a matter of knowing how and when to use it. So the light is pretty cool when you're walking. The idea that if I see an attacker, I press this, his reaction will be one of two things. He's either going to run because he's going to panic or he's going to straight charge you. Now, if I'm attacking her and she's pressing the light, it's completely useless. So that means that if he's in range and he's attacking you, this is when the keychain becomes completely useless. You drop it and you start fighting, which means even if you're using this, right, right, which I'm not against, you still need to learn self-defense and know how to defend yourself because once you're in range this becomes useless so yeah go ahead yeah, for, for also um come a little bit closer camera for also the reason that not don't depend also on other people hearing this and coming to your defense if that happens great if people see something happening they call 911 but for the most part i tend to think well people don't want to get involved anyway yes. so if it happens that someone helps you or, or calls 911 great um, but if if not, I mean, I'm I'm sticking to my own defenses, and I'll, I'll deal with what I have to deal with in the moment. That's awesome. So, what do you think of this, Helen? I would never use it. Um, only if I mean the the light is good uh, at nighttime. If I'm going to put a key, if I'm trying to find the keyhole or something like that, that's the only thing I would use it for. As a self defense weapon, I wouldn't even bother with it. Um, it's not something that I would put my heart uh, into in, to help me. If I want to make noise, I will yell help. Um, I'll, I'll yell something out. I'll create noise. I uh, might even throw a rock through a window if I have the possibility of doing something like that. But to just rely on that, no. That's so, a no. So guys, look, I'll put the link on the bottom if you guys want to ever buy it again. It's an added thing, it depends on your comfort zone. If you use it, make sure to learn self-defense. Don't only depend on it. Scream and yell like Helen says if you drop it. If you can create some kind of noise or something that can draw attention, great. But yeah. So that's, I guess that's our take on it. So uh, we did have an idea though. Can yes. we go into the yeah, idea? We go into, yeah. Uh, for anyone who's an engineer or something like that, um, with, with those uh, uh, wristbands that you have out there, those popular wristbands that, that monitor, you know, how much exercise you're doing in a day or, or, you know, how much you ran, how much you walked, something like that. If you can design like a bracelet of some sort where if your heart rate elevates to a certain level, so in other words, if I'm dealing with a situation where now my, I'm, I'm going through the adrenaline dump and uh, my heart rate, rate has increased substantially, then the alarm on the band can go off. I can still defend myself. The noise is being created for me, so I don't even have to deal with that. I can deal with the person who's in front of me right now that would be a great idea. How yeah. you're going to do it, I have no idea. <laughs> so, I'm not a smart person, so <laughs> hopefully there's someone out there who is. So guys, at the end, it's whatever you feel comfortable. If you like it, you know, I, as long as you know when and how to use it and not depend on an emotional, it's just an added gadget that you can have. So uh, I'll put the link on the bottom of the keychain as well as go check out our online women's self-defense program. 
I'll put the link on the bottom as well. And go check us out on Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram. Like, share, subscribe, and make sure to turn on your notification and stay tuned. We got more action with Ellen Stranza. Stay safe, guys. Bye.